people are unhappy because they have chosen to be unhappy. So you are unhealthy because you choose to be unhealthy. You are unhappy because somewhere you have chosen to be unhappy. If your karma is good, if you are a good human being, you're honest, you have gratitude in your heart, you have love, you have compassion, you have integrity, you have good intentions towards what you want, whatever you do. How can anything bad happen? Why should you be sad? It's impossible. It goes against the grain and the system of spirituality, philosophy, psychology, everything. You want to be like a lion? Just be honest. Just be kind. When you stand up, you look like a lion's product. And that's how you build a powerful aura. That's how you control the stress that you're going through. And that's how you drive up the, the passion that is there. It's still there. I can see it. Okay, but you need to heal. Everyone needs to heal. That's why you do a class like this called the Soul Detox. It's not that your entire soul is going to get washed like a washing machine, but to make you aware that the soul needs washing. It needs a detox. So wherever you can find a teacher. For me, I tried everything before I found Kundalini. Everything else I tried. But the way I have healed myself, my anger, my pain, because of Kundalini Yoga, I don't think there's any other system that I have found till now that, that could have helped me as much. So Ayurveda is a very a traditional 5,000 more, but at least 5,000 year old science. And the one thing that Ayurveda begins to tell you, it starts from there, is that what you have in your stomach controls your whole life. What you, food you eat, if you're having pizza, non-vegetarian food, alcohol, burger, Garbage, garbage, garbage. Now this becomes garbage. It transfers itself. It, there's a word for it in, in India. We use called tamas. When you have tamas here, which we, you can understand as negativity, it transfers itself to the mind. Okay, because your mind, this is the first brain according to the Chinese. This is the second brain. So what is happening here is transferring itself here. Now what is happening here in the brain is transferring itself to the aura. The negativity that was there in the brain transferred itself to a negative aura. That's part one of life. The second part of life is chakras. Now when I tell you to do this, for example, now this, when some people do it, they do it like this. They have so much inflexibility here. The chakras are so blocked, they can't move. Even when you tell them to dance, some people dance like this and they can go like that. And some people can only do this because their chakras are totally blocked. When your chakras are blocked, it shows on your faith, it shows on your way you walk, it shows on your life. You can easily read it. It's a combination of the right kind of food, the right kind of spiritual practice, the meditation, the yoga that you do. And I'm not telling anyone here to give up alcohol. I'm not telling anyone to give non veg, uh, give up non veg. I'm not telling anyone to do yoga every day. No. What is more important than doing yoga asana every day is to live a life of yoga. <coughs> Be you're aware, just be aware, do what you want. Just be aware of what you did. See, the aware, be aware of the consequence of your action on your life. If you're aware of it, one day it will change. One day that shift will happen. 